Chicago police protests Mayor Emanuel's anti-police policies. A leftist woman spits on the police. Now, during a police protest in Chicago over the anti-police policies of Chicago's crooked Mayor Rahm Emanuel, an unidentified angry woman spit on a cop. Lock her up. The Chicago police are protesting the policies of their mayor, Emmanuel, that prevent them from doing their job. The mayor is a personal friend and accomplice of former President Barack Obama. Now, during the protest, a woman was caught on video spitting on one of the cops. That policeman deserves a medal for not retaliating to the radical, disgusting female spitter. She, on the other hand, needs to be arrested and put in jail. Police union calling out Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel as anti-police in an organized demonstration being called Blue Wednesday. However, anti-police protesters crashed the event and made quite a scene. Did you see that? That woman uh, apparently spits at some police officers walking that way. Join us right now with his reaction is Kevin Graham, the president of that union, the Fraternal Order of Police, uh, Chicago Lodge 7. Kevin, good morning to you. Good morning. Oh, first of all, that, that image of that woman spitting on the cops really bugs me. Uh, you know, it, it bothers me as well. Uh, later today, we're going to try and identify who the woman was. Uh, we're still looking into uh, the, the entire situation. Uh, I, wa I want to give a, uh, a great uh, round of applause to my uh, to the men and women of the Chicago Police Department who were there in City Council that day. Uh, they did not engage the the anti police people. They held firm right. uh, and made sure that they were professional the entire time. Okay. Uh, why do you call Rahm Emanuel anti police? Well, there has been a series of, of events. Uh, the most uh, notable event was that where we had a very uh, controversial shooting, uh, where an officer um, was defending himself. Uh, someone came at him with a baseball bat, uh, tried to hit him uh, in the head with the baseball bat. Mm. He fired a shot, uh, killing the offender. Uh, also in that exchange was an innocent uh, bystander right. uh, was also uh, killed and, and that's very unfortunate we never want innocent people to be hurt right. or killed uh, and, and so my my family goes out to uh, to her uh, her family absolutely you just feel like the the mayor doesn't have your back but the uh, the mayor's office put out this statement when you have people on either side of the police reform issue criticizing it's a sign we're hitting it down the middle of the fairway as we continue to build trust between officers and residents uh, Kevin it doesn't sound like uh, you trust him well here's the problem uh, they keep entertaining things like civilian oversight board when we are we have enough oversight already in the police department we have a civilian um, uh, accountability unit right. called uh, COPA. Uh, they review all uses of force issues. Uh, we have uh, every time there's a shooting right. that uh, that is sent to the Justice Department. Uh, we have internal affairs. <laughs> we have we, we a get number it. You, of steps. You just, you just yeah. don't trust the mayor and that is a problem. Kevin Graham, the president of Fraternal Order of Police uh, Lodge 7. Kevin, thank you very much for joining us. President Trump tweeted his support for the police in Chicago, stating that they have every right to protest how the mayor will not let them do their job. Trump tweeted out saying Chicago police have every right to legally protest against the mayor and an administration that just won't let them do their job. The killings are at a record pace and tough police work which Chicago will not allow would bring things back to order fast. The killings must stop. All right, so if you'd like to support the channel, do so by clicking the links in the top of the description below. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report. And let's make America great again. I appreciate you. Peace.